Welcome to today's tutorial. I will be showing you guys how to create this wonderful melted crayon art. You will need an 11 by 14 canvas, a 64 pack of Crayola crayons, and any glue type you may choose. This is the order I put the crayons in. It is uh, listed in the information box down below. Um, I just kind of did it by eye. I didn't really follow any specific pattern. I just did what looks good in a kind of ombre and rainbow form. So this is my um, preference for how the crayons are arranged, but you could arrange them any way you might like. It's a good idea to arrange your crayons on the canvas before you start gluing so you can fix any little glitches in the system. And I wrote a cute little word on the bottom. I'm using a hot glue gun and you can use any kind of glue that you might like. Now I'm taking my first crayon and I'm going to be putting a strip of glue on the back of the crayon so that the word Crayola will still be visible on the canvas. Also, if you're using hot glue, please be careful because I nearly burnt myself a couple times. And I'm just going to carefully place the crayon on the canvas. I'm making sure that they're all aligned in the same way by following the black lines. And I taped the bottom of my canvas so that my word would not be covered in the melted wax. So now that all my crayons are carefully glued on, it's time to start melting them. I leaned my canvas against the wall so that the wax would fall down and I covered my section with newspaper to avoid any mishaps. I'm using this older hair dryer because um, there's a possibility that you might get a little wax on it so don't use anything too expensive. So as I start with my hair dryer I um, do this motion to start getting the crayons hot and once they are I move my hair dryer over top of them so that the wax will fall down and not fly up or any other direction. Remember that the hair dryer really guides where the wax goes so that will be key to making your wax droop the way you want it to and to make sure it goes the direction you like for your masterpiece. When you're done um, melting the wax, you can uncover your word and outline it with a sharpie. This is how the crayons look up close after the wax has melted them. I really enjoy how it looks and it's a cute little style for a wonderful piece of art. Thank you for watching this tutorial. This is how my masterpiece turned out. I hope you guys had fun with this and enjoyed.